Welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a weapon you can get early game that is incredible for a bleed build. And just quickly before we do get into this video, if you're not currently subbed to the channel make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like, all support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator then check out the links in the description and let's get into it. So the weapon we are looking at in this one is the Reduvia and I say early game it's probably best if you do dual wield these so you'll have to go through the new game plus. However, because it's an early game video, I will not be dual wielding them. And if you take a look at the bottom, the passive effect causes blood loss build up at a rating of 88. I do obviously have this plus 9, so it's not going to be as strong when you first get it. It scales on strength, dex and arcane, E for strength, C for dex and B for arcane. Requirements are pretty low, 13 dex, 13 arcane and only 5 strength. And we're going to be taking a look at the Reduvia Bloodblade, the skill, because this weapon offers both melee and ranged combat. And the ranged is really, really powerful because you've just got to use the skill twice to proc blood loss. In my offhand, I do have the Dragon Communion Seal. You can run any seal in the game. It's just to proc Golden Vow because Commander Standard, if you was to run that and get the bigger benefit, I mean, you could also do the Jellyfish Shield if you wanted to. But with that, you have to switch hands, so basically it just makes the buffing take a lot longer. Whereas if you're running one Reduvia and then you've got a seal in the other hand, to proc Golden Vow is not like switching over and two hand and a weapon then switching back and all that sort of stuff. I would just have to use left bumper to use Golden Vow and then you can start attacking with your left trigger. In terms of the armor, doesn't really matter with this one. If you're running two or if you fancy using more of the melee instead of the skill, then I was put on Raptor's Black Feathers. And obviously with this, you are going to focus on your arcane to get that as high as you possibly can. And then for the talismans, it's a bleed build. So everything that works around blood, skills, all that sort of stuff. So we are running the Ritual Sword to raise our attack power when our health is full. Shard of Alexander to greatly boost the attack power of our skills. Rotten Wing Sword Insignia to raise the attack power with successive attacks for when we're using the melee side of it. And Lord of Blood's Exaltation to increase our attack power when there is blood loss in the area. And with that, you can also pair it with the White Mask for a, like an even bigger damage boost. In terms of the Flask of Wondrous Physic, I don't think there's really anything in there besides maybe if we quickly switch over, we can have a look at the Green Burst Crystal Tier because it does use quite a lot of stamina. So now we have the, we've got the Dex Not Crystal Tier because there's not one for Arcane and Dex is like the secondary stat the weapon scales with. And then we've got Green Burst, so we've got a temporary boost to our stamina recovery speed. So if we come to this enemy in Kaelid and the isolated merchant shack, if I proc Golden Val, and then providing this guy doesn't ruin me, if I do also drink my flask, if we do some standard melee attacks, if I can actually get in there for an attack, and I don't keep panic rolling, it's going to eventually end me. So you see the damage isn't that high, it was like 750 or something. And then after a couple of hits, you get the blood loss build up, and that's with the melee. So if we reset this guy again, and we come back out here, we use Golden Val, even though it's still buffed on our character. Just to make sure we have enough time to do it, and then drink our flask again. Then because I've got Ritual Swords, just make sure the health's full. And then if he keeps doing his attacks, if we stand back a little bit, the range isn't great. But you'll see there, look at the blood loss. I don't know, why has he not died there? He still had quite a lot of HP as well, so if I we'll do it one more time, you'll see just how fast the blood actually built up on him. And this is a weapon you can get really, really early in the game. You get it from down here, just outside Murkwater Cave. There will be an NPC that invades you, kill that NPC and you'll get the Reduvia. So it's really, really early compared to a lot of other weapons. But even without Golden Val, just look at that, how fast the cast speed of the skill is. And it's a lot of damage. I know this enemy is quite weak to blood loss. Like the resistance isn't too high. But still, like even though I've got it a plus 9, for a weapon you can get early, it's good even just to have in your inventory. So one more time, if I use Golden Val... Oh, Rams, Rams, don't, oh, don't do it. Every single showcase. So with Golden Val on... He 
It uses, like as I said, it uses quite a lot of stamina, but it is really, really powerful. And like you can just see how fast you can use it. And you can either spam it until your stamina runs out or until your FP is gone. And it doesn't have that high of a cost. It's only 6 FP. So what we're going to do now is we are up a mountain tops of the giants. We're going to take down this giant, but I'm not going to use the melee. I'm going to use the skill because I want to show you, you can't really proc blood loss on this enemy. So I want to show you how like powerful the skill is in general. So golden Vale procced, we come over here and you'll see, look at how fast that builds up. That's nearly 10k damage. And obviously over time you're going to use a lot of FP. And your stamina goes really, really fast. So my stamina runs out in 5 attacks. So 1300 there. It is about 1300 against this guy. And my endurance is only 20. So my stamina is 113. So I'd say it's using roughly at about 20 stamina each time you use the skill. And because it's faster casting, it's going to run your stamina out very, very quick. And that's why I would recommend even the Green Turtle Talisman, but the Green Burst Crystal Tear in your Flask of Wondrous Physic as well. Because even though it's not going to affect your stamina going down slower, it's going to make it come back quicker so you can use the skill more often. So that was a look at the Reduvia, a very early game weapon in Elden Ring. And I think it's amazing to put in a blood build it is a dagger so you can power stance with another dagger to get the unique move set and deal a lot of bleed damage and it's a weapon that i'm actually quite surprised it's taken me this long to cover in a video because i've had the weapon for a long time as i said you just need to go down to murkwater cave to get your hands on it and just fight the npc outside there but what we're going to do is leave that video there let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and i'll see you in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed it yeah.